worst fails on my 600 pound life. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Film Discover. It's not every day that you find yourself looking at a huge person, but if you ever get curious, you should watch my 600 pound life. On the show, you can see some of the heaviest people on the face of the planet. Now, losing weight doesn't come easy. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. So let's have a look at a few of the tremendously obese people who had some major fails on the show. Number one, Stefan and Justin Asante. These brothers appeared on the show because their father was afraid that they'd die before him due to their weight. Stefan was almost 800 pounds and his brother 600 pounds. The two would spend most of their time bickering and arguing. Their constant fighting was a way to ignore their issues instead of owning up to them like responsible adults. They didn't accept the help in the end and refused all kinds of treatment offered by the Dr. Nauzarden. Number two, Gene Convey. At 600 pounds, Convey took a huge step, moving to Houston to get treatment from Dr. Now. Although her actions showed she was ready to get her life on the right track, she quit within just six months. Her excuse for quitting was her father's death and being homesick. Even though her reasons seemed genuine, the truth behind her quitting was that Jean wasn't motivated enough. She wasn't ready to put in the work for weight loss, as Dr. Now wanted her to. Number three, Penny Sager. At first, Sager seemed optimistic and was able to lose 40 pounds on her diet. Even Dr. Now approved her weight loss surgery, but after surgery, instead of losing weight, Sager gained five pounds. She definitely had someone bring food to her secretly. Sager eventually quit the program, against Dr. Now's advice. She left Houston to move back home. In a follow-up episode, Dr. Now said quite plainly that her addiction to food will indeed end up killing her. It's just a matter of time. Yikes. Number four, Robert Butchell. Butchell, weighing in at a shocking 850 pounds, was also addicted to painkillers. However, he was able to get control over his habits, and with a lot of effort and support from family, he managed to lose almost 350 pounds. Unfortunately, after the surgery, Butchell was left depressed and longing for painkillers. He even tore out his stitches, hoping to get his hands on some pills. Sadly, before the episode could even end, things took a dark turn. He died suffering a heart attack. Maybe if his heart had hadn't failed him, he wouldn't be on this list. Number five, James Kevin. James Kevin is one of the heaviest patients to be aired on the show. Weighing in at 791 pounds, he also had an extreme attention-seeking attitude. He had no intention of losing weight and instead just made his loved ones sacrifice a lot, all for nothing. His girlfriend sneaked in junk food for him during his time on the show, and he gained 60 pounds in under a week. After trying for a long time, Dr. Now told him that he had enough of James games and gave up on him. He simply just sent him back home. Number six, Schnee Murray Hopkins. Just like Jean, Schnee too walked away from the show and the treatment midway. During her time with Dr. Now, she gained more weight instead of losing it and hit 712 pounds before her weight loss surgery. Her miserable life was the main reason she had overeating problems, leading to her becoming a huge obese lady. After refusing her treatment from Dr. Now, despite all his efforts, she stayed the way she was. A lady who could not even perform her daily life tasks herself. Number seven, Sean Milliken. The heaviest person to ever appear on the show weighed an enormous 1,003 pounds. Under Dr. Now's therapy, Sean gradually started losing weight and dropped down to 600 pounds. He then got approved for surgery. His mother, however, passed away soon after they moved to Houston. Sean, however, didn't give up and continued losing weight. He was sent home after some time and continued to do well. After a few months, another tragedy hit him as he caught an awful infection. He heartbreakingly passed away after a few days. Alas, there's not much you can do when life fails you. Number eight, Kelly Mason. Here's another one of the sadder stories. Mason had a host of health issues, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, a blood clot in her leg, arthritis, reflux, thyroid problems, and heart problems. It was clear that she needed help quick. Things were looking good for Mason when she lost 200 pounds, and then thanks to weight loss surgery, lost another 100 pounds. But events took a tragic turn when Mason's heart gave up, despite her best efforts. She passed away in her sleep due to a heart attack. Number nine, Schnee Murray. She was so bad, we had to mention her again. Murray turned to food at an early age because of childhood abuse. Hopeful to turn her life around, the 780 pound Murray turned to Dr. Now for help. However, she never got surgery as she didn't follow the diet and exercise plan given to her. She was even caught ordering fast food to her hospital room. Did she really think no one would notice when they were being videotaped the entire time? Following this, Dr. Now took her off the treatment program. Number 10, Mercedes Cephas. Similar to Schnee Murray, Cephas had a rough childhood. She weighed in at 773 pounds, completely dependent on her children for care and suffering from severe lymphedema. She just wanted to live a normal life. However, Cephas wasn't dedicated enough to losing weight and did not get approved for weight loss surgery. Losing only 80 pounds, she was always full of excuses for why she couldn't lose more. Eventually, she didn't try hard and moved back home and off the program. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. 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 